Okay guys, the M40C is outside under the power of a two-man push. Yeah, we pushed it out a few minutes ago. And I have to get this on relatively quickly because the sun is chasing me. There I am. Hi. So what do you think? All mocked up in bare metal. We threw some headlights into it, put the door handles on, tail lights, the cardboard template for the grill, got that in. Just to kind of complete the picture. As you can see, the passenger side hasn't been installed yet, but you know, all in good time. One side's good for now. Everything's been tested, just for this mock-up outside. We wanted to get the glass in, just to fill that windshield in. Side glass, we didn't put that in just yet. That'll be done afterwards. But there was that molding around the top of the door. That's almost done. A few little things to take care of. There's a lot of work that goes into building a car from the ground up. As you guys have seen. But I guess this will be video 70 or around 70. So if you're interested to see what went into building this thing, we've got 69 other videos. From the beginning right up until this point. So the car will drop down at least well, about an inch with everything installed. Full tank of fuel, seats, interior, all that stuff. Side glass. So the ride height should look pretty good. Let's check out that tail light. Now that bezel is just sitting there. If I breathe on it, it might fall out. But you can see the tail light itself has been installed. Fastener at the top, clip at the bottom. And there'll be two fasteners here for the bezel. And this will have like a molded in uh, brass collar that's threaded on the inside. And the bolt into place, just like that. So unfortunately I cracked this one trying to separate the support molding that the printer created. So I have to create another one, print another one. Not a big deal, but uh, stay. That'll be a painted body color and uh, it'll flow right in with the fender. The fuel door, there's a little clip we just kind of stuck in there temporarily to hold it kind of closed. I must have wiggled a little bit of it when we were rolling it around. But uh, anyway, that was fitted, gapped, and uh, looks good. Now the only other thing we have to do is bring this lip up a little bit. But the rest of the gap is actually a bit tight because we don't have a rubber seal installed yet. Exhaust tip reveals, all finished. License plate area. We have to take and drill some holes for the screws, for the fasteners. But we'll get that done later on. Check out those reflections. Wow. That's looking really good. The body has a really nice glow to it. All the way through there. Hardtop design with no post really simplified the side of the car. So those headlights came out really good, blending in with the curvature of the fender. The sun is chasing us, so I can't take too long to get this out because we'll end up in the shadow in a few minutes. That grill kind of sticks out right now, only because it's cardboard, but at least there's not a big hole there. And you can see how the nose drops right down, giving that look of a sectioned, wet sectioned and chopped 40 Ford. Now based on your comments last time, we brought the hood down a bit and streamlined that, as well as the chin area. We raised that up. So we have lots of ground clearance. And when the car gets loaded with everything, then uh, we'll decide at that point whether we should bring it down a little bit more or leave it as it is. Because this car is being built as a driver and on the Canadian roads, <laughs> You come across some really big potholes from time to time. So we don't have the interior in the car yet. All we were focused on right now is getting the exterior finished. 
and uh, mocked up to make sure that everything looked good before we moved into body and paint. A green line is the height of the dash inside the car. And you saw that earlier, right now it's all opened up. So we'll get that in later on. Just playing off the lines off a great design. The designers of the 44 did an excellent job. And my hat's off to them. Yeah, that's a sway bar hanging down there. We have to get that mounted in place yet. I'm gonna be long now before she's done. I'd open the hood, show you the engine cover we're working on, or we're planning to work on, but there's a rod welded in supporting that cardboard template right now, so can't open the hood, which is fine. We'll check that out later. So the roof's been kind of lowered down. 44's had a really high top section, brought that down. The windshield, that flows in really well. It's an OEM factory windshield that we installed. Instead of going with flat glass, and that way we can retain the original wipers and all the other stuff. Squirters. And they're hidden, that's the biggest thing. They don't wanna see wipers dangling down or sticking up in the bottom. Once they go down, they're gone. Sitting up on some grommets, or on some little foam spacers sitting in the top here, just to cushion it. You never want to place your glass on a sharp metal edge. It'll run right away, it'll chip and run, and you lose your glass. But that flowed in really well. And you saw us working on all this stuff here. Now there's a little rubber spacer at the bottom, it has to come up just a little bit to close that space in. But overall, that looks good. There's going to be a weather strip across the top of the doors here. Have to install that. And this is just kind of mocked up on a couple of screws. So we need to kind of blend the two together yet. There's going to be a rubber bulb that goes in, clips in underneath for the glass to seal on. The glass will go up and seal on that. It'll be a flush fit, just like the Mustang. Door handle, all finished, and you can see how well the linkage isn't hooked up, but you can see how well that blended in. We have a little pocket there for our fingers. Revealer on the perimeter to sink the handle down into and it looks like it belongs there. And it flows right in with the body. Now the glass has all been installed earlier, tested, retested, make sure everything worked and then taken out and put back away so it remains clean. That will be installed later on when the car is done or being final assembled I should say. As you can see that we streamlined the whole car, brought the roof down so if you compare an original 1944, which I'll get up on the screen right here, you can see the difference between the two. It looks wedge sectioned, chopped, and just streamlined. Now those rims really pop. Now, they're Mustang um, pony rims, and we're gonna get them media blasted to give them a cast appearance, except for the outside ring. So it'll have a cast aluminum appearance with a shiny per perimeter around the edge, maybe a pinstripe or something. You can see how well the integrated rockers worked in. The rear fenders are blended right into the rocker, but at the front, there's a bolted flange and a seam right through there. And you can see how well it's all finished off. Done. Now these fenders have to come back a little bit. They're out past the rocker a little bit so we'll move it back about a sixteenth of an inch that'll close this gap up to a heavy three sixteenths enough for primer paint clear coat all that stuff and the hood as well when the fender comes back the hood the hood will come back close that in but you can see that gap all the way down 
Passenger side the same thing, just a little darker. Now this car is a bit wider than the standard 40, original 40 Ford. And that's because we use a late model Mustang chassis. It has a 60 inch track width and gives the car a lot wider, more aggressive appearance. Boy, this evening sun is really knocking this car out. It'd be nice to leave it all in bare metal. I'd love to leave it like this, just clear coat it. But the client has a few colors in mind. So we'll see how that goes. And this evening sun kind of gives it a tequila sunset look. The rear glass has been finished, fitted, and like the side glass, I'll put away. That feature over the door gives that molding over the window area a reason to be there. If it was just smooth, that molding would look kind of strange there. So it kind of complements it. We'll get the interior installed later on. Right now we're just focusing on getting the exterior wrapped up. And after a long day's work, get it outside and have a look at it. That brake duct there that we're planning for, that's gonna be gone. We're gonna eliminate that, bring the whisker down over that signal light and just kind of refine it. I would have moved it, but then you would see the Sharpie underneath, so I left it alone. Let's get way back. Back about 45, 50 feet. It's about as far back as I can get. Yeah. And we'll get a 40 Ford up right over here. Again, just to just to contrast the two. So I'm going to wrap up this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Put it down in the comments. And uh, I always read everybody's comments. I try to reply to them as quickly as I can. But as you can see, I've been quite busy. Did we hit the mark with this custom 1944 Ford? It's a lot wider than an original. But it looks really aggressive. Once we're into bodywork and paint, I'll get working on that grill. Get that finished up. For now, it just serves to fill that hole in at the front there. Yeah, the door's closed just a little bit. There's no bumper in there. Just wanted to get a look at it in the afternoon sun, or evening sun, I should say. So we need to install the seal for the trunk lid. That hasn't, you know, we installed it earlier, but didn't put it in in this case here. So that'll kind of lift things up a little bit. Boy, it has a nice glow to it. Tequila sunset. Maybe, we'll see. Okay guys, well I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, stay tuned for more. I'm not sure if we're, I'll bring you guys into the bodywork. Let me know if you guys want to see uh, some bodywork, you know, block sanding, all that fun stuff. Let me know and we'll see what we can do. In the meantime, we have a number of other little metal shaping things underway. So uh, we'll be starting on those pretty soon. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel with your friends. Adios.